Oops. Hello, Leo, and welcome to my channel, Intuitive Envisions 1111. This is going to be a general love and horoscope reading for the remainder of January 2020. For those of you under the sign of Leo, since this is general, it's not going to resonate with everyone. I do offer personal readings. Uh, that information is below. So that card wanted to show itself. Stand your ground. As maybe that's a message for someone watching. Okay, so I do offer personal readings. So if you're interested, that information is below in the description, as well as the link to my site and my Instagram information. And also, um, if you'd like to support the channel with a donation, uh, the decks I'm using, most of the items you see, including the jellyfish lamp, which the jellyfish are uh, not real. I have to make sure I say that in the each video okay because if I don't I'll get a lot of comments about it <laughs> all right so um, for those of you new on their journey Leo uh, watching this um, when I refer to divine masculine or divine feminine I'm referring to energies so you could be a divine feminine and be uh, a male or vice versa just take it how it resonates also I do use terms like you he she they that person your person this could be you who I'm talking about, the person, um, your the person that you are, your love interest, or someone close in the equation. Okay, so um, I think that's pretty much it. I can't think of anything else I need to say. So with that being said, Leo, I'm gonna go ahead and get started with your reading. First, I'm gonna pick up the uh, general energies surrounding you in love and romance. For the remainder of January and then I'm going to go ahead and get right into the reading okay all right so we have solar plexus chakra so someone is having a gut instinct it's that inner knowing something you feel deep down in your your gut um, something is um, being activated. This could be you or this could be um, the person you're thinking about. And um, it might, it, this could be about intuition as well too. Because, some, you know, when you get that gut feeling, that inner knowing. Then we have emotions are natural and necessary part of life. But they can also distort your perception and cloud your vision in order to see things clearly you must let go of resentment okay so there could be um, someone that's holding on to resentment or this could be you holding on to uh, um, some resentment and it could be um, clouding um, your perception of how you viewing things you could possibly have an instinct for it or someone is having this um, instinct towards you so what's the energy representing you leo for this period we have the wealthy man, okay? So this means that you are focused on your money, your finances. Um, you may be, uh, you might actually be wealthy or just feel insecure, not worrying for anything. You know, your bills are paid, taking care of yourself. Um, kind of like a, a, a king of pentacles kind of a energy, feeling stable. You might be an entrepreneur or focused on your um, um self-employment things of that nature uh, being independent from working from traditional work or that could be the area where you're focused on so that could be your gut instinct telling you to follow that as well could involve um, someone in your workplace too as well all right so let's go ahead and see what the current situation or status um, is between you and your person leo for this period We have, it is safe for you to love, open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. So I associate this card with um, Twin Flame Connections um, because of the highest energy. And I feel that the highest energy between the two and the romance would be uh, Twin Flames, not that divine soulmates or other um, relationships can't have a high energy level and um, be very happy. But I feel like with the highest energy, it has to do with uh, twin flame connections. So let's see uh, what this current situation, why is it safe for you to love, current status. 
a situation between you and your person. Material world. So this could be something, um, someone, like I said, someone that you're involved with in the material world um, as well in the workplace. Um, there could be an emphasis worked on money, you know, focused on money. Um, uh, still, because with this wealthy man, you could be wondering if it's, it's, it's safe for you to love. Is it okay? And this also represents change for me, too, because of the coins here. So it could have something to do with that. So Earth Energy. Um, Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus. So why is it safe for you to look? Uh, okay. <laughs> I'm just going to go ahead and um, show you this card. But I wasn't done speaking. So I'm going to put it back as the world card. So you guys, are, you and your person could have closed a chapter. A new beginning could be um, coming in. Because um, this is the world card. And it, you know, it completes cycles. But it also can be about... Um, you know, reunion and uh, also in Twin Flame Connections. So let's see why is it safe for you to love in material world here. And we have Nine of Wands. So this is about being in a guarded energy, it's fire energy. So this could be you, um, fire energy, Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries. So someone could be, you know, guarding their, their money or guarding a change in the material world, not knowing if it's safe for them to love. So they're kind of like in a guarded energy. But this also uh, indicates being at the end of this um, energy, okay? Being at the end of it, end of a battle, end of being on guard, looking out for the enemy. All right, so why is it it's safe for you love, material world, and nine of wands here? For the current situation or status between you and your person, Leo. We have the chariot. So you could be dealing with a cancer. So this is about, you know, going forward uh, victoriously and forcefully. Because uh, the chariot, you know, nothing stopping the chariot. You do have an eight here. Um, infinity symbol. Um, this could involve for some a foundation because of this four. Uh, the 13, which is four. So um, some of you could be possibly involved with, uh, we have the three there, but that doesn't mean so. The third party could be um, money factor, something about finances um, affecting the connection. Um, could involve a, a third, an outside factor that's preventing things from um, moving forward because there is a guarded energy here. I'm just going to put this over in the side here. Yeah, so someone is being guarded in a, a material world, and that's kind of preventing movement forward. So this could be you, Leo, or your person. Okay, so who or what is coming in for you during this period of January 2020, Leo? We have the Hermit. So this could be, uh, uh, this is a sign of Virgo. So a Virgo could be coming in uh, towards you. Um, this could be somebody that is uh, withdrawn from you in the past or you withdrawn from. Um, this is someone that is uh, very knowledgeable, very wise. Let's see why the hermit is here for what's coming in, who or what is coming in towards you. Conclusion. Okay, so someone is um, wrapping up a conclusion, uh, possibly from in this energy of withdrawing, taking a time out. Someone is um, wrapping this up, uh, closing a, you know, a cycle, uh, maybe getting out of this um, energy. Okay, following their um, gut instinct because we do have this solar uh, plexus chakra. So there's a conclusion, a decision being made. So someone you could have had a conclusion with, someone that might have taken a break from you, taken a time out with you from, or you took a time out with them. And then how is your person currently seeing you, Leo? The 
they're seeing you as the Knight of Wands. So this is, could be a Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries. They see you as the Knight of Wands, which is kind of like a back and forth energy. Also could be about quick action. It also could indicate leaving a residence, leaving a situation. So let me see what this is. Why is the Knight of Wands here for how your person um, sees you? And we have Muse. So this is an inspiration. This is starting over, needing an inspiration to, um, you know, starting with a blank canvas and needing to amuse, needing something to inspire you to create something. So they see you as, you know, taking quick action, starting over, leaving, leaving the situation, leaving maybe possibly them, maybe leaving a home situation, but they see you. Uh, as taking quick action towards starting over, maybe starting over with other people or other creative endeav endeavors or, or situations. So what does your person want from you, Leo? You have the Ace of Cups. So this is about an emotional love offer. Um, this is uh, over overflowing love. This could be water energy, um, uh, cancer, uh, Pisces or Scorpio. We do have a cancer here. So you guys could be this or um, in your charts. So the main signs that are here though are cancer and Virgo. Okay. Why is the Ace of Cups here? For what Leo's person wants. Fifth dimension. So this is on a higher level. This could be the subconscious. This could be dreams. Um, this could be about following your intuition. We do have that solar plexus chakra. So they're wanting, they're wanting, and, and for some they could be healing, like self-healing, following the intuition to uh, self-heal. But I'm, I'm feeling like on the subconscious level, they might be hiding that they want to make this offer towards you. Like they're aware of it, but they're hiding it, okay? Um, possibly thinking about following their intuition, following their gut instinct. And then what action or outcome is your person going to take towards you during this period? For the Knight of Cups. So this is a love offer, a romantic offer. It's a, you know... The next level after taking a, some type of step up after, you know, an apology kind of energy, taking a bigger step than that. So let's see why that's there. Release. So they're going to release this, this offer. That's what they, they want to do. They want to take an action towards releasing um, this. So this offers to release some kind of uh, energy. So let me see why this is here. Let's get one more card. Actually, I did this in the last <laughs> Libra's video. So let me just use the Romance Angel uh, cards for what action or outcome they're going to take towards you, Leo. Playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. Yeah, so they're going to release this night. That's what I'm getting. They're going to release this night to make an offer because we do have Ace of Cups. We have the Knight of Cups. So the Knight of Cups is traveling with this offer. They're going to release this, this um, energy. So this has been stuck. They're going to release this guarded energy. And I'm picking up they're inspired to take a quick action. That's why there's going to be a conclusion towards this withdrawal um, energy. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and see what's on the bottom of these cards. We have memories of love. So someone is wanting returning, some wanting to return. This could be uh, someone from your past, someone you, you know, have a history with and uh, memories of love with. Sexual union, honor the place and one another 
where you are one eternal soul for there you will find true bliss so some of you could be having dreams about this relationship you could be having a sexual union in in your dream state as well um, also somebody could just be wanting to return because they missed that sexual union that passion and so we have here to recapture uh, romantic um, to recapture romance allow your inner youth uh, inner youthful spirit of fun to shine so they want to release this their passion their emotion this person is feeling a loss okay you have a thief here this is about a loss it can be about recovery as well so you have two sixes here this is about um, balance uh, also then we have here religious factors your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path so this person um is might be like losing this like losing this energy of following socialized um beliefs religion um ways they were brought up uh, for some of you this is about someone following their spiritual path to return like being guided to do so And then we have winter. So this could be um, happening right now is winter in the United States. So someone could be, um, you know, putting a hold on something or this uh, connection could be put on hold or this could be something that's taking place in winter. So we have Ten of Swords. This is about a painful ending. It could have to do with um, betrayal. Um, there could be a reason why things are on hold because of maybe someone is going through a painful ending, some type of a loss. And then we have the two of so uh, two of wands. So this is about being at a crossroads, needing to make a decision. It also can, can be about partnerships. So someone is um, currently what I'm feeling at a, a crossroads or they've already made this decision to um, end a certain way of thinking, um, something that's not serving them. I think it has to do with this religious factors, to be to be honest. And because um, there's a lot of uh, emotional um, energy here, a lot of passion. So that's that's what I'm getting here. Because that's why we have the sexual union, because of the, the passion. All right. All right. So you guys, so I hope that resonated with you. If it did, please like, comment, or share. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Again, I do offer personal readings. If you're interested, that information is below in the description, as well as the decks I'm using and most of the items um, you see here. Okay, so I want to thank each and every one of you, Leo, for watching. I appreciate you very much. Have a good day or night, whatever it is, wherever you are. And until next time, next video, peace, love, and light.